Carol. Call it ink snake. Call it the capacity. Thanks, Al. I'm just going to go ahead and pretend that Al said something to me, even though this isn't live, and I have no idea what Al just said. Anyway, I'm here at something called the American Spirit Pavilion. The PR release said, for the first time in political convention history, a new and exciting addition to the Republican convention will showcase American business innovations. It should have something for everyone on your Republican gift list. I got to tell you, my Republican gift list, it's so long and some of these people are so hard to buy stuff for, so I thought, this is perfect for me. Come on, let's go buy gifts, come on. Ah, the possibilities. It was like a Republican paradise. Right off the bat, I saw something so perfect for Clarence Thomas or Arlen Specter. What about Dick Cheney? What should I get him? No, Dick Cheney, he's the type of guy, you know, that you know, he wants everybody to, you know, to have a little bit of mystery around him and not mm -hmm. understand where he's coming from most of the time. Because most of the time I don't think he knows where he's coming from. Right. So a pen blues glasses like this here, about this size would do well too. The smaller size wouldn't do him any right. good because his head is kind of big. Russia with love. Everything in here is made in Russia. The Russian interpretation of George Bush, right. which are all very, very different. Each yeah, now here he's got quite a hair I'm do on him. <laughs> Some, sometimes he's got red hair, sometimes he's got brown hair, but they, you know, they haven't seen George Bush every day like we have, right. so it's their interpretation. So Go ahead and show me what's inside. Show me the... Numbered. And like I said, you get a certificate of authenticity. Show us the insides of it. Okay. This, of course, is Bush. Here we've got Reagan. That's that's Reagan. That's Reagan. And Wait each. A now let's look at Reagan. For a okay. Well, let's 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 see here. Here's another Reagan. Now th now that's Reagan. Okay. Here's Jerry Ford in his lime green golf shirt. Now when was the last time Jerry Ford had hair like that? Probably about 1945. What about Bob Newhart? Why is he there? Bob Newhart? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like Bob Newhart. Isn't that Bob? Jerry Ford. <laughs> oh. We've got the, we're introducing the clapping. We've got the only clapping machine on the premise. Right, so this is for the Republicans, what ooh, 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 ooh yes. is for Arsenio. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, think, you think the Doles would like something like this? Pardon me? Well, I'm looking. I have all these different people to buy gifts for. Do you think the Doles would like something like this? Sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Elizabeth and Robert? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to get them that then. Very good. Don't tell them I only spent $5 on them, though, okay? I don't think they'd mind anyway. These are the lithographs which have been painted by Mr. Red Skelton. Wait, which one should I get for um, Newt Gingrich? Well, let's see. Now, for Newt Gingrich, uh, how about uh, Sunday afternoon? Right. Why would that be most appropriate for him, uh, do you think? I'm not sure, except that's just my first general impression. Right, and he makes faces like that quite a bit, yeah. don't you think? Yes. Kind of looks like Newt Gingrich, doesn't it? Maybe it does. Maybe yeah. that was why that was the first yeah. impression. It's 50% bust of President or Mrs. Reagan. What does that mean? Oh, 50% means half size of a life. It's, it's half the size of, what is it? 50% of life size. Right. Now, which one is half? For, half? This is 50% of life? That, yes. You mean, so Nancy Reagan's head is only twice as big as this? Yes, that's correct. Does she have a teeny weeny little pinhead? Oh, yes. <laughs> so now, the, what, now this is 50% of size. Now, what is this? Yeah, about 28%. This is 28% yes. of the size of Reagan's head? No. Right. right. So three, Reagan's head is only three times bigger than this. Right, that's right, yeah. Right. Who would this be a good gift for? I'm looking so, for something for the Cheneys. Do you think they would like something like that? Oh, probably. You think? I think so. Well, there you have it. I think I'm set now through Christmas of 94. Only one sort of sad thing. Um, I got an interview with George Bush and... Damn, something was wrong with our camera right then. We don't have tape of it. On the bright side, I did get a photo of it, and uh, I think you can see by the photo, he was very taken with a number of my ideas. I had a nice long chat with him, and I think that maybe I might have turned his mind around on a few important issues. Uh, back to you, Al. I can call you Al, can't I? I hope I, it's okay if I call you Al. Bum, 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 bum. You sure can call me Al, and Norman, you can always call me Al. Thank you, Meryl.